I'm Jeffrey Brady, and I'm glad to work with Speakeasy DC. We've got two amazing shows and friends this year. First of all, we have Chocolate Jesus. Chocolate Jesus, the resurrection, because we were in French last year. We sold, we sold out every night, and I was excited because we had, uh, we, we nearly broke the, the, uh, the, the fire codes. We're doing a show called Manifesto. Yes, we're with an exclamation point right, at the end. Right, we're Happenstance Theater. And all we, caps, Manifesto, right. all caps, exclamation point. Right. Um, we're Happenstance Theater. We've taken texts from these uh, big, bold manifestos of, of the literature Futurist, of Manifesto. Futurist, Dada, Communist, Capitalist. And we've, we've kind of deconstructed them, thrown them into a situation where three clowns come in to this, to their establishment and uh, a couple of visionaries come out of the audience to deliver these manifestos and we kind of inhabit and deliver and deconstruct these manifestos. Clown interpretations yeah. of various manifestos. But with the actual original texts. Yes. And, and appropriate visuals like... It's know. totally dada and noisome. Yeah, Highly and noisome. I'm uh, Scott McKenzie and I'm the festival director for the Fringe Festival, Capital Fringe Festival. What do you do? This is Julianne Brianza. She's the executive director of the Capital French Festival. So who's in charge of who? That's, that's a good question. It comes, it comes and goes. Yeah, it comes and goes. It comes around. I believe that this year it's more about who we are and who we've become, I guess. I think. Does that sound right? Who are you? Maybe. I mean, for, for example, we moved into a space that yeah. is our own that we'll have for the next foreseeable future, maybe a couple years, hopefully, where we can do things like erect a tent. Uh, a 2,000 square foot tent with 25 foot peaks. It has a we bar in it and an 80 seat cabaret theater venue. The tent got raised yesterday, the first half of it. That was pretty exciting and also kind of scary. Almost knocked a, literally six of us on the ground uh, down for the count, uh, but, it, but it went up. My belt buckle is all about fuck me. And I felt like, why not wear it to Nelly's, where there are so many friendly folks that might agree to that. But I actually got this at a, a charity event. Uh, Speakeasy DC had a fundraiser, and there's a local artist who actually does killer belt buckles. And being from Louisiana, I felt like, you know, belt buckles, that's, that's how our people communicate. <laughs> but instead of having, you know, tobacco, or world wrestling, or monster trucks on my belt, I thought, why not have, it, why not have some expletives, you know, some expletives deleted, as, you know, like, like we used to see in the, the Spider-Man comic uh, growing up. You keep your eyes out for Baby New Year. Uh, uh -oh. Which, which would be pretty exciting. This involves a dance song and a lot of body paint. Yeah, you have to go to the opening night party if you want to know that. I hate to complain, but this got chipped one night. Ooh. On a, How'd that get chipped? It was a go-go boy incident. Um, I had to take it off in a hurry when the cop boyfriend came back. So are you guys ready to not sleep for about 18 days? I mean, how, what's your tolerance level without, you know, without sleep? How do you do? We do pretty well, honestly. Okay. Yeah. We've uh, we're, we're battle hardened at this point, sleep wise, yeah, and energy wise, fringe wise. The old time to sleep when you're dead is kind of what I think.